everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing good if you're new i'm an afrikaans speaking south african and i react to movies i've never seen before and if you're an unwinder or a stick arounder welcome back it's always glad to have you back and uh, i'm looking forward to spending this movie today with you and as you can see i have pink panther today he's he's visiting for this reaction so um what am i doing today i am doing the film 1917. um i know it's a war movie and i know it takes place in the world war one period uh, during world war one uh, but that's about what i know no i'm not sure if i'm gonna cry i'm thinking i might cry so i have my tissues and everything here ready for when i need to cry and uh yeah well, that's really all i know i don't even know how long this movie is it's probably a long movie before i start if you want to support my channel if you want to support the work i do you're welcome to head over to patreon uh, where i also have full reactions and some other exclusive little things that you can enjoy if you don't want to commit to any kind of subscription service you're also welcome to head over to paypal Otherwise, please comment, like, subscribe if you like this content. April 6th, 1917. Blake. Blake, pick a man. Bring your kit. Now listen, Erin Moore is inside, so tidy yourselves up. Never know. Might be mentions in dispatches for this one. Lance Corporals Blake and Schofield, sir. Corporal Blake and Schofield. You have a brother, a lieutenant in the Second Devons? Yes, sir. Joseph Blake, is he? Alive, as far as I know. And with your help, I'd like to keep it that way. Your orders are to get to the Second at Kwasi Wood, one mile southeast of the town of Lacust. Deliver this to Colonel Mackenzie. It is a direct order to call off tomorrow morning's attack. Okay. So they have to stop an attack before the morning. Is it, is it just us? Yes. He travels the fastest who travels alone. He travels the fastest who travels alone. Oh, you don't have people holding you back. Let's talk about this for a minute. Why? You need to move. We don't have time to talk about it. Nine miles will take us, what, six hours? Eight at the very most. So we've got time to wait until the sun sets. You don't really have time because obviously things can change quickly. Oh, listen, we need something to go. go. What's happening? Damn, oh, Sergeant, the man's back. He's working. Right, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. Royal Commission. Let me through. Orders from the general. Let me through. I've heard that how they depict everything in this movie is very accurately depicted on how things happened and how things are portrayed. That is the German front line. We know, sir. If you'll just take the letter. Straight ahead to the left, past the dead horses. There's a gap directly behind them. Useful, because if it's dark, you follow the stench. Mm. When they start shooting at you, could you be so kind as to throw it back? <laughs> when they shoot at you, throw it back so that we can use it again. H before beauty. <laughs> H before beauty. <laughs> They're really making it quite... Intensifying it with a oh, horse, the music as well. That's graphic. Oh, that's graphic. Oh, that one already. Oh, decomposed a bit. I'm nervous already. There's a dead person stuck in the wire fence. Okay, it's war. There's gonna be dead people. There's gonna be dead animals. <coughs> ow, ow, ow. <coughs> Ina, Ina, Ina. There's dead bits and pieces, dead bodies. Oh, a rat came out of a body and it's going in. Oh, no. Oh, it's a war movie. There's dead bodies, dead stuff. Okay, that would be a German, German planes. There goes. The, oh, they're theirs. Keep going. Okay. 
those feeding on the dead. There's a gap in the wire. Okay, but there's probably much more dead bodies and stuff here. Oh, and it's in water and you don't know how deep that is. The devastation is so real. Blake, what's the other guy's name, this guy's name? That one is Blake, oh, in the wire fence. Oh, oh, how did you get in there? There, that's the front line. Okay, there's still a lot of this movie that needs to happen. They're at the front line of the German army and they still have a way to go. The music is intensifying. No one there. They really have gone. They did go. Uh, they retreated or something, like the general said. Your hand, all right. Put it through an effing German. Oh, you're gonna get infected. You'll be wanking again in no time. <sighs> really? Okay, well, <laughs> I guess those are the things these boys think about because they haven't been able to do a lot of things while at war. Someone just uh, made a fire. I'm just realizing now is this is this still a single shot, a single take with a camera? I didn't actually pick up on that until thinking about it now. This might be a way through. Can you see? Do you have some kind of light? Oh, yeah. There are lights in there at least. Where are you gonna get into? What's those things hanging there? Oh, there's a rat. Bloody hell! What's in there? What do you think's in the bags? You cannot I be that hungry. I wanna know. What's wrong? Tripwire. Tripwire? Oh gosh. Goes from here to the door. Oi, oi, oi. Careful. Oh. Man. Oh no. Don't go past it. Oh gosh. It was exploding right there. So he's. <gasps> it's gonna come crashing down. He's stuck underneath. Wake up! Wake up! Gosh. Stop! Oi. All that dust and cement and stuff, concrete. Come out! I can't see! I can't see! Just hold him! Just hold him! Oh no! Jump! There's light! Stop. Wash his face off just at least. Try to get his face washed off, his eyes. Wow, 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 wow. Gosh. Dust! So much dust in my eyes. Sorry, I just need to... Okay, he's washing his eye. Why in the name did you have to choose me? He didn't choose him, did he? I oh, did choose him to go with him. I, I didn't know what I was picking you for. I thought it was going to be something easy. I guess when you're at war, you can't think something's going to be easy. Well, that's your medal sorted then. Lance Corporal Blake showed unusual valor rescuing a comrade from certain death. Blah, blah, blah. Well, that'd be nice. Hmm. Since you lost yours. I didn't lose mine. Gave it away. What happens to it then? Why do you care? Why do you not? Just a medal. I swapped it with a French captain. Bottle of wine. <laughs> what did you do that for? I was thirsty. <laughs> thirsty is more than a medal. If I got a medal, I'd take it back home. Why didn't you just take it home? Look, it's just a bit of bloody tin. Just a medal. It doesn't make any difference to anyone. Mm, that's true. Yeah, it doesn't bring the life back. I hated going home. When I knew I had to leave, and they might never see me. Making it even worse, because you know your family might not see you, and you know you might not see them again. Mm. Oh, dog. Oh. I like the, um... Anything? Nothing. The, the scenery and the... It just shows so much devastation so clearly. Every now and then I forget that the shot, it's a single take. Sorry for the interruption. If you want to support what I do on this channel, and you want me to continue with this, Please consider subscribing to my channel, commenting, liking, sharing, whatever you want to do to keep my channel going. 
If you want to support my channel in any financial way, you're welcome to head over to Patreon, where you can find early access to my YouTube videos and also full unedited reactions with a few other things in support of my channel. If you're not able to commit to a subscription kind of service, you still want to contribute, you're welcome to head over to PayPal, where you can donate any amount that you'd like and there's no obligation for subscription services. How is this the cow? And is this poor cow fed? Is it, does it have food? Oh well, there's grass at least. Oh, there are dead ones. Oh, shame. That's just fresh. That's still relatively fresh. It's not thick. So someone just milked the cow just now. Someone is there. Is that our friends again? Looks like it. Dog fight. Eesh. Who's winning? Us, I think. Oh. We're getting this coming this side. <laughs> Here it is. Oh my, get out of the way! I don't think dying by fire is very nice. We should put him out of his misery. No, get him some water. He needs water. Yeah, obviously you cannot just kill him. That's one thing. Wow, how do you... Oh, water is dirty. Looks like ours. Oh, what's happening? No! <gasps> Did he stab him? Oh my goodness. Stop! Please stop! Put me down! Put me down, you bastard! Please! I'm sore. Oh. Let's just sit. Let me sit. No, we can't. We have to find the second, remember? Your brother. He's already bleak. Look at his face. We have to move. Alright? Is he gonna make it? Doesn't look like that. Which organs got stabbed? It's the side. Your brother! We have to find your brother! You'll recognize him. He looks like me. Is he gonna die now? He's dying. Can't they like. Psh. Like seal up the wound, like take a piece of steel and heat it up in the fire and seal his wound or something. Am I dying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. And they try to help the guy. Will you write to my mum for me? I will. Tell me you know the way. I know the way. Oh yeah. I'll find the second. I'll give them the message. And then I'll find your brother. I did not expect that he was gonna die halfway through the movie. I don't even want to go at it alone now. Oh, yeah. Bury him at least. What's the ring, the deal with the rings? Because I see he also has one on his hand. Okay, I know the whole thing with the tags. Go and fetch his things. Sir, sir. Come with me, Corporal. It's an order. We're passing through a coast. We can take you some of the way. That guy looks familiar. Across no man's land. Just outside Papone. It is the guy, I think. What movie was this guy in? His face, I know him. He was in some movie and I'm going to try and remember. It wasn't Hitman or was it Hitman? You got a frag? Yeah, there you go. He almost died and our friend, his friend actually died. Ugh. Dear driver, how about you try to keep it on the bloody road for a change? Oh. Keep it on the bloody road for a change. Good luck, mate, look. Good luck, girl. Good luck. Can't pose it up. I hope you get there. I hope you get there also. If you do manage to get to Colonel McKenzie, make sure there are witnesses. Oh, I understand why there should be witnesses. But some men just want the fight. Hmm. You're gonna walk across on the top. Well, that's better than going in. Yes. 
I would have crawled across that. That just gives me like a little bit of height fright. <laughs> height fright. Is there such a word now? Man! No, man. How much ammunition do you have? Because you're on your own. <laughs> Gosh, is it one person or is it a, a couple of people in there? Gosh, no, it can't be. No. And now, what now? Where did he get shot? Because it looked like he was shot in the head. He did get shot in the head. <coughs> or did he? Or was it grazed? Did it graze his head? But it's a lot of blood and stuff, so... Gosh, visually... Even in the brokenness, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful visual scene. Is this poor guy gonna make it? He better. There is someone. Are those the same people that he was with earlier? It's a German. Man. Well, luckily he's not aiming well, but still. saw you climb in there did he not there's nothing here there is nothing for you please only me i need to be somewhere i need to find a wood to the southeast how much time does he still have left to get there in time to stop the attack oh she's got a baby what is her name? Je ne sais pas. I don't know. Give her a name. For you and the child. Here. How far do you need to go? You took the, oh, he didn't take that milk from the bucket, did he? He did. Merci. Merci. Thank you so much. I have to go. Just don't give away her position. Oh my gosh. This guy is not gonna sh. I'm very sure he's not gonna sh. Oh shit, see? He did not sh. Alma! Oh, he's got a sealer. Okay, he's drunk. At luckily, he's drunk. Luckily. Okay, I'm glad they're not good aimers. I'm glad they're not aiming well. For his for his sake. Oh no, he's in that range. He's in the river. I thought he was gonna smash against the rock. <gasps> Gosh, what's going on? Oh! Don't fall asleep in the river. No, 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 no. <laughs> that drowned am i seeing correctly yep yep it's people that drowned 
or got shot and fell in or just drowned but that is wow <laughs> oh my goodness it's nauseating is there no other way you can get out <laughs> i would have cried with you <laughs> <laughs> A young boy singing. These look like English, British, English. Are these the ones he needed to get to? In that bright land to which I go. A lot of young boys, a lot of young, young, young boys. Are these the ones he needs to warn and tell that they need to? I have to find the Devons. Where the Devons? Okay, they are. Why haven't you gone over? We're the second wave. They don't send us all at once. Oi. Oh, there's already one group over. Where's Colonel Mackenzie? Oh, he's down at the line. Which way? This way. We're headed up there now. Let me by! Call out for him. Mackenzie! Please don't send your men over. Get out of the way! Where is Colonel Mackenzie? Go and see the captain! Where is he? Why don't they just tell him where he is? Where is the captain? He's over there. Over there. Where is there? There's a long... Where is Mackenzie? Is he dead? Oh no, oh no. There's a couple dead ones already. What? Where is Colonel Mackenzie? He's further up the line! Oh, gosh. How far still? You'll have to wait until the first wave goes over! No, 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 no. Man. What you gonna do now? Possibly make it that way, man! You bloody insane! You gonna run on the top? No, 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 no! Oi! Gosh! Please make it. A lot of people are not making it now, but please make it. Gosh, it was a better call than running through the line. There's no bloody way you're getting in there, mate. Sergeant, send the next wave. No! No. Colonel McKenzie! Everything there. This attack is not to go ahead. You have been ordered to. Oh! You have to stop. Who the hell are you? What's his name? What's his name? Doctor Strange. You read the letter. I'm not calling back my men, only to send them out there again tomorrow. No. They want you to attack. Read the letter. Stand them down. No. Stand down! Oh, okay, stand them down, not him. Okay, I thought he was just gonna stand him down. Okay, and now? Do you know where Lieutenant Blake is, sir? I was sent here with his brother. Knowing Lieutenant Blake, he would have gone over with his men. No, 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 no. You could try the casualty clearing station behind the line. Please tell me Blake is alive, the brother, because if you came all this way alone after your friend died to find his brother is also dead, then I don't know. At least you stop this. How do you find one person amongst so many? <laughs> Ooh, guy without his arm. <laughs> Said he looks like him. Come on, boys. He's taking one in the leg. Hopefully that's him. Lieutenant Blake? Yes. It's him. It's him. I was sent here to deliver a message. Yeah, he's... You must know my brother. What's your name? Schofield, sir. Schofield. I couldn't remember his name throughout the whole movie. If I may, I'd like to write to your mother. Tell her that Tom wasn't alone. Of course. He was a good man, always telling funny stories. He saved my life. Thank you, Will.
said, Blake's mother. Come back to me, to us, come back to us. Oh, it's his own family, or is it? No, it's not Blake's mother. He said he was scared to go back. Okay, I just had to take a quick break before I could talk about the movie. Um, this was a visually, strikingly, beautiful, upsetting, grueling movie. <laughs> So visually, it was a beautiful brokenness. Visually, it really told a story and showed the devastation of war. Um, so yes, there's, the visuals was just... Uh, I was just awestruck by the visuals, even though it was brokenness, war, uh, death. I did not like the death, but... It was filmed in such a way that you didn't feel, how can I say, you didn't feel miserable watching it. It was shocking when uh, Blake died. I really didn't expect that. It was definitely not, the whole entire movie was not what I expected. I didn't expect this story. I really didn't have an expectation i didn't really know what to expect but the story itself i didn't think once we picked up on the story and what was going to happen it was really never in my mind that blake was going to die and so early on um so the struggles that william will went through after his friend died the emotion the just those, the way they filmed it and the music and the scenery and the scenes, they made you really feel for him so much. Uh, like, he, ha he is so sad for his friends passing, but he needs to be strong, he needs to move forward, he needs to go on. And wow, it was... Whew. Yes, I don't, I don't really have much else to say. I know it wasn't based on a true story. It wasn't based on true, true, true events. Uh, although it says uh, the concept of the movie uh, to carry this life-saving message during a crucial moment in World War I was inspired by a story from director Sam Mendes' own family history. So there's definitely some inspiration from what happened. Sorry, Pinky. Uh, probably with his grandfather or great-grandfather or someone during World War I. Um, oh yeah, it says Sam's grandfather, Alfred Mendes, was born in Trinidad to Portuguese Creole family. Oh, when his plans to attend university were interrupted by the outbreak of World War I, Alfred decided to join the British Army and assist in the war effort. He served in the 1st Battalion Rifle Brigade and was sent to Osmond, France, Osmond, Osmond, France, where he trained as a signaler. He was then sent to fight in the Battle of, gosh, these words, something, Belgium, also known as the Third Battle of this battle took place from July 31 to November 10, 1917. Okay. So to know that that is stuff that happened, um, I think you can get a nice article on this, uh, my heritage blog. That's where I saw this now. Um, it will give you some background on what inspired Sam Mendes to direct and to create this movie. Definitely a beautiful broken movie. <laughs> um, yeah, a beautiful brokenness. Uh, it really got me in the end uh, of when he told Blake's brother that he didn't make it. Uh, he didn't say a lot, but just the scene where his brother you know, you can see with all these soldier boys, they all 
try to stay strong. They try to really not show how hurt they are and how much um, they're feeling. They really need to be strong and they're really trying to stay strong. And Black's brother standing there and, you know, trying to keep his emotions in control. Um, that got me at the end, the whole sad part of it all. Um, yeah, and I, and, I, and I hope, I'm thinking that hopefully Will did go home uh, by the end with a photo that he saw or that he looked at that said at the back, please come back to us. So I hope he went home and I'm sure he wrote a letter to Blake's mom. So those little questions you have in the back of your head, or oh, did this happen, did that happen? Uh, obviously the story is fictional, uh, but you wanted to see how it ended for Will in the end. But obviously in this movie, in the story, they did um, stop the war with this message. And uh, a big number of these soldiers probably were able to go home. So yes, um, that is what, that's my thoughts on this movie. Uh, it was definitely a, a beautiful brokenness movie. <laughs> uh, I just want to describe it like that because the brokenness of war and the beautiful way they filmed it. That's why I'm saying it's a beautiful brokenness. Um, that was what it was for me. I hope you enjoyed this reaction and uh, I'll see you next time again. Take care of yourselves. And I know most of my viewers are in the US, so you probably don't have much cold weather now, even though there are areas that are not as warm as you want to be. But I do have some other people watching that has to go through winter now. So those of you, that is how in their winter season keep warm wherever you are <laughs> and i'll see you again soon bye